Facebook's vested interest is it for it to work for advertisers and the people that consume it. It's the only currency they have. Television has Nielsen's, that's fake. Facebook's an amazing product because it's kind of like Vayner. The only reason we're a good agency is because I want to become the brands and thus the collateral of my mission is we're good with clients, not maximizing our, I would sell programmatic and television if I wanted to make money. Sure. I give without expectation, knowing that karma and good is smart and will work if we even need it. The most pure testing environment to me right now is Facebook. Yeah. If you're going 25 and up, you're they're there at scale. 20, 30 and up for sure. It's crazy. All these companies that do research and insights, right? Yeah. 500,000, they survey like, <laughs> hey ma'am at Albertsons, hey ma'am, do you want to go in this weird room? You know, It's all context, not contact. Everyone's so addicted to the content. The content's number two, it's the context. I just yelled at Sid. He's like, give me, a, for a swipe up ad, he's like, just make a generic one. I'm like, why, I'm right here. I'm gonna say no, hey India, hey Brazil, hey Mex. The context is the ROI. Right. So we can do 13, 13 to 17. That was that. <laughs> I mean, that's gonna, honestly, that's gonna work. That's yeah, gonna, just do, do it with about India so that we can go broader. We can use the same video and go broader. But oh, you want? We don't need another two minutes from you and say Brazil. We want to use the same thing. But it's going to convert better. That's the punchline. Like the punch. Like that's the thing. Like you guys have me. Well, the beauty with me is like Brazil. What is up? You are not following my content enough. Swipe up if you want to win in entrepreneurship because the dynamics that I believe in over index in South America more than even here in New York. They hear Brazil. I mean, it's context. Did you get yelled at? Did you take it like a man? Did you take it like a man? <laughs> um, quick question. Yeah. We have pretty good relationships with Amazon. Which, is there Nobody a, has a relationship with Amazon. Oh, well, never mind. Um, is there any value in the concept of doing like an exclusive thing with them for a little Nope. Bit? You should do an exclusive thing on your dot com and use Amazon. We need to fuck Amazon before it fucks us. Hey, it's Gary Vaynerchuk, how are you? I'm good, Gary, how are you? Very good. Thank you for calling me. Thanks for the interest. Baseball said you're gonna consume us the way we baseball want, not the way yeah. you want. I couldn't be more down on baseball 35 years from now based on what they're doing now. Kids are not growing up with baseball cards like they did. There's new alternatives. Like Everyone's like, well, it's a great summer night. Well, guess what? Do you know what every eight to 13 year old in America is doing on summer nights right now? They're staying inside and playing Fortnite. Boxing and horse racing were the most popular sports along with baseball in this country in 19, 20, 30, and 40. And guess what? Now we're in a digital world and that's who's gonna benefit, aka esports, aka things like the NBA that understand how to manipulate it. And you know who's gonna lose? Baseball. Third tier NBA players are getting famous and the biggest superstars in baseball are completely and utterly not known. I have a funny feeling if Major League Baseball had a culture where a 41-year-old catcher could make $300,000 off the field because he's a personality that you would see things change systematically. Baseball's very good at not taking on accountability. It's time it does and they better move quickly because very quickly people are gonna be watching video game players throw swords at each other instead of baseballs and hitting with bats. Very quickly. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's already happened. Now it's can they start the process of unwinding it? Because the days yeah. of the days of baseball cards in your bike spokes are over. They're not reinvesting in their business. They're sucking it dry, and they will pay the price. Yep. Period. And the story. Period. And the story. Every other conversation is the micro and is fundamentally irrelevant to the actual thing that's happening. That's a lesson for everybody in everything in life.